Hello, Eulise. Hello, Eulise. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm. I'm so good. You're so good. Perfect. Yes. What about your day? How was it? What did you do? My day uh, today. My, my was so good because there wasn't much war today. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, my day was uh, very relaxed. Relaxing. Relaxing, yes. Okay, perfect, Elise. So I'm really happy that, that you didn't have a lot of work, right? So it was kind of relaxing. Let's see tomorrow, right? So today is Wednesday, so we are in the middle of the week. So I think that probably that's why, right? And we are we are starting a new month as well, March, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and did you eat already? Did you eat? Mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, to, today? Uh, yeah. No, tonight. Yeah, tonight. Uh, yes, uh, right. I was. I was eating. Okay. No, yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. I, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, how do you say? Yeah, it's a noun. Yes. Yeah, be a noun. Oh, oh, just a name. You can say I ate already. Uh, okay, I ate already. Okay. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Okay. And what are you going to do tomorrow? Do you have any activities? Uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Only I I will work okay. all day all day okay and yes. do you work from home or do you go to the office uh at the mm, i don't work in the offices i work in uh how do you say diet i forgot oh yes I, I remember that you work as um you're a mechanic Yes, I am mechanic, but I'm mechanic industri industrial, mechanic industrial. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Perfect. That is good. All right. So let me see. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So in this case, um, let me see. Give me one second, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Rafael. Good evening, Raul. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? How was your day? Uh, fine. Very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. What about your day, Rafael? How was it? I think that probably in... Sorry, I am cooking. Oh, uh, okay. Very don't... busy, teacher. All right. Okay, yes, I I, I can imagine, right? Yes. Um, Eulise, you can say workshop, all right? Workshop, like this. Okay, workshop. Work, okay. Yes, I will send it, okay? Thank you. Yeah. So, yes, guys, and actually it's really hot, right? I don't know why, but it is really hot. Okay, so um, then we are going to start with today's class. We have different activities, okay? So today we are going to continue with unit four and we have the speaking time. We also have the quizzes uh, for each day, but first we are going to start with this, all right? So let me see. Uh, Raul, can you please name five vegetables? The name? Yes. Five. Uh, ah, five is vegetable. Let me see. Uh, tomatoes. Yes. Uh, 
eggplant. Eggplant. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, cucumber. Yes. Um, corn. And corn. Perfect. All right. Uh, Eulise, can you name five fruits? Five fruits. Okay. Fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Apple. Apple. And kiwi. Kiwi. Yes. Yes. It's fruit. Yeah. Or not. Okay. Yes. Please. Um, banana. Banana. And strawberry. A strawberry. And uh, grapes. And oh, grapes. Grapes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Nelson, can you please name five feelings, five emotions? Happy. Happy. S sad. Sad. Angry. Angry. Mm. Hungry. Okay. It's a feeling. Um, yes, it is. Mm, so, so. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Um, nervous. Okay. Perfect. All right. Let me see. Um, Salvador, can you please mention um, five countries in English? United States. Okay. Yes. Germany. Okay, yes. France. Yes, France. Spain. Spain. Y Mexico. Mexico, very good. And what about El Salvador? <laughs> okay, very good. All right, Edwin, can you please name five wild animals? Mm -hmm. Wild animals. Yes. Let me see. Mm -hmm. um, lion. Lion. Tiger. Tiger. Yeah. And um, zebra. Zebra. Um, Mm -hmm. Elephant. Elephant. One more. Um, monkey. Monkey. Perfect. All right. Excellent. All right, guys. So we are going to start by talking about the following. Okay. So what do you think is the most important thing that parents should teach their children what do you think is the most important thing okay so i will ask some of you and you need to talk for one minute okay you will see the timer right there um all right think about your ideas what do you think is the most important thing that parents should teach their children okay uh, one minute. I will give you 10 seconds for you to think, organize your ideas. Okay. And Raul. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Raul. So, ready? Uh, I guess. <laughs> okay, so, go, Raul. Go. Uh, let me say, I think one. One of important thing that the the parents should teach should teach mm -hmm. uh, the the children mm -hmm. is uh, respect to 
to another person, but maybe to another gender. Okay. Uh, because right now, uh, well, uh, they are a lot of, of um, uh, violence mm -hmm. about another person in a specific, maybe with another gender. Yes. But if your parent uh, teach about it, uh, you can you can uh, puede decir convivir con no, no, you can share. share. No, no, well, you can share very well with another person. Okay, all right, with other people. Yes. Ah, other people, thank you. Okay, all right, perfect. So respect, yeah, that is correct. Nelson, one minute, okay? For me, the most uh, important thing that my parents teach me Mm -hmm. is uh, the some valores <laughs> values values moral mm -hmm. moral values uh, for example on the top uh, humble respect mm -hmm. uh, because empathy okay because uh, this this three Mm -hmm. uh, are the most important for me because you can you must you or you should uh, you should uh, humble always okay. always because it's a it's a quality mm -hmm. it's a quality that that define define no sé si es correcto de que te define that defines you Okay, it's a quality that defines you uh, for all the life. Okay, all right. Perfect, so humbleness. Okay, yeah, okay. perfect. Um, all right, the last one for this question is Salvador. Okay. Mm. The most important thing that parents should teach their children are hmm, honesty. Honesty. To love for for God. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Respect. Respect. All right. Tell, tell, tell that trust. Oh, tell the truth. Always. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Salvador. All right, guys. Now let's move to number two. Well, in this case, um, yeah, I agree with all of you. I think that respect, uh, empathy, right, honesty, all of them are really important, okay? So we have your friend in this one, please Susana and Edwin think about the answer, okay? So your friend is coming to your country, is coming to El Salvador, yeah, for a studying. But he or she is worried about the cost. Okay. What are the advices you can offer? Mm -hmm. What can you advise? What can you recommend? Okay. Edwin? My friends come. To the, into the country um, I think that I can say 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 to him to him right uh, that 
he has to save money okay. and think where where can live mm -hmm. where he can live and and have a how say it? a rent a uh, rent okay have a rent uh, an apartment that okay. um buy food uh, for it at home okay. um, at home mm -hmm. that's it okay i think that the last one it is really important okay to buy food to eat at home, right? Not like buying, you know, fast food, right? Maybe go to the supermarket or the market, right? And, and buy food to prepare at home. That one is very important. Okay, Susana, what about you? Hmm. If my friend come in, come in, to my country for studying, mm -hmm. I I say don't don't waste your your money in a restaurant. It's better it's better buy your food in a market and cook your own food. Okay. It's more it's cheaper. Yes. Cheaper and. If the places are close to you, it's better walk to the places. Okay. Don't don't waste in bus or taxis or even in gasolina. Gas. When you drive, mm -hmm. yes. But uh, you can stay with me in my in my home for the first month. But then we can find a better place for you. Perfect, all right, excellent, all right, very good. So, all right, I really like those advice, okay, perfect, okay. Question number three, okay. Do you agree with that statement? And uh, for this one, please, uh, Raul and Hosman. all right, prepare your answer, okay. Do you agree with that statement? Employees should be allowed to listen to music to music at work. Yes or no? What do you think? Do you agree? Do you think that? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. I agree. Well, because, for example, me when I when I listen to music, I use uh, headphones. Mm -hmm. And I don't interrupt to another person or I, I, I don't uh, interrupt the work of another person. So I am agree if I agree. in my work mm -hmm. uh, I should be uh, allowed to listen to music. Mm -hmm. I don't have any problem, but it's depend maybe the company because if you need to stay uh, focused, maybe in this case, I don't listen. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, in that case, I would say that if you listen uh, to music with your earphones, it's okay, right? But if you interfere with others, probably no, but okay, I support your idea. A uh, Hostman, what about you? Um, okay, in my opinion, it's, it's, the, it's very important because the, the different moment of the day in the world and the job is a uh, uh, I need a moment of relaxing mm -hmm. uh, because uh, it's my it's in the moment. For example, in my in my case, uh, for me it's important to uh, listen to music 
and the moment the, the report because uh, my mente, my mind, my mind, uh, the relaxing and concentrate in, the, in my activity. Mm -hmm. um, and different moment uh, uh, in, uh, in, in the case in my, in my job, the listen to music in the, in the store because the music uh, prefer the agra agradable okay. uh, agradable for, for the clients. Yeah, uh, it's important the music, uh, the, the different moment, a uh, music uh, relaxing, right? No music, uh, for example, rock in the store, the, uh, and no, no moment in indication. Okay. For example. All right. Yes. So in this case, um, yes, I support that. Okay. So, um, First of all, I would like to mention this. Remember that whenever you say, guys, cuando se quiera decir, um, yo estoy de acuerdo, vamos a decir, I agree. I am agree, no, okay? El am lo removemos, ¿ya? Yeah? Mente, mind. ¿Y cómo se dice um, música agradable? ¿Cómo podemos decir música agradable? Mm -hmm. Comfort music? No. Friendly music? Uh, no comfort? No. Raúl? Friendly music? Friendly music, okay. Nice music? Nice music. Mm -hmm. Enjoyable music? Mm -hmm. Pleasant music? Right. Yeah? All right. Perfect. Well, I think that this one, yes, I think that employees should be allowed to listen to music mm -hmm. at work. Absolutely. Sometimes, actually, it helps you to be more creative, to be in a good mood, right? Yeah, could be, right? right? Then the last one, the last one, okay? Which one of the three occupations that we have right here do you think is the hardest? Okay. Number one, government worker, doctor, or police officer? Which do you think is the hardest occupation? And why? Maybe the first doctor, police office, and the last one, government worker. Worker. Because doctor, they have, uh, they have to work sometime mm -hmm. long uh, shifts. Long, no, they have to work more time. Uh, in in a day, so mm -hmm. it's very hardest. Okay. Maybe the police offer also okay, it's sorry. like similar when they have a uh, when they have to to work at night. Mm -hmm. uh, and the last one, government worker, I think is a little uh, easy but I don't know really how, uh, how is this profession in a uh, day a day. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Raul. Okay. Now, eh, how can we say um, jornadas de trabajo largas? Pero en ese caso, refiriéndonos a las horas, que se trabaja bastantes horas. ¿Cómo podemos decirlo? Extra time? Yes, okay. Extra time or overtime, right? Overtime. Yes. Okay. Uh, but there is actually um, this expression, which is long working hours, right? They have long working hours. Doctors, they do have long working hours, right? 
police officer as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, let me see. What do you think, Carlos Arias? Hmm. The hardest. The hardest occupation is a doctor for the time uh, working and the check the, the people and, and remember the, the enfermedades, recordar los síntomas de enfermedades. The symptoms, why the illnesses? The symptoms, yeah, the illnesses. Illnesses. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so I think that yes, I support your opinion that doctor could be the hardest one because of the knowledge right, that the doctor must have. And also because of the long working hours and well, many things, right, many things. Okay, so now guys, we are going to start and we're going to start with vocabulary. Okay, so let's see. So we have nine uh, pictures and we need to choose which is the correct phrase for each picture. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number one. Eat pizza. Number two. Sunbathe on the beach. Sunbathe on the beach. Three. Buy. Buy souvenirs. Yes. Buy souvenirs. All right. Buy souvenirs. Okay. What about number four? Hey, photos. Okay, no. No. Mm, okay, number four is go sizing. Go sizing. Sizing, correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, number five. Take photos. Take photos, all right. Number six. Go sky. Pronunciation. Go skiing. Mm -hmm. Go skiing. Yes. Number seven. Checking at old, check in, in, at old hotel. Yes. Checking at a hotel. Perfect. Number eight. Have fun. Have fun. And number nine. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Rafael, what do you do on vacation? Um, mm -hmm. I like traveling. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, uh -huh. what else? Um, but the last time I have a vacation, I I stay home and and rest a lot. Okay, all right. So you like to rest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. What about you, Susana? What do you do on vacation? Mm, I like travel uh Guatemala to Guatemala. Oh, you I like, like buy, mm -hmm. I like buy souvenirs and eat many food. Mm -hmm. Uh also, I like take photos. Okay. Mm -hmm. And mm, shopping. Go shopping. Shopping. Yes, go shopping. ¿Cómo se dice? Como vitrinear o algo así. ¿Verdad que hay una palabra? Yeah, sightseeing. Ah, go sightseeing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, guys, remember that whenever you say, uh, for example, I like... Um, I like what? I like eat pizza, for example, right? So the verb that follows like should go in the ing. So I like eating, I like bagging, I like uh, going sightseeing, 
Ok, so después de like se utiliza un verbo, tiene que ir en ing o en con infinitivo. En medio sería el to. Pero no podemos decir I like buy souvenirs, I like go sightseeing. That would be incorrect. Ok, you need to use the to in the middle or the verb need to go in the ing form. Ok, the verbs. All right, so perfect. Um, all right, let's continue. Ok. So I need two volunteers. I need one Claire and the other one is going to be Patrick. Um, let me see, Anna, can you please be Claire and Patrick, please Nelson. Hello. Hi, Anna, uh, it's Nelson, how are you? Okay. Hi, Nelson, I'm fine, I'm on vacation in Italy. Really? Lucky you. I'm at, I'm at work. What are you doing? Right now I'm relaxing on the beach. How's the weather? It's fantastic. It's hot and sunny. It hardly ever rains here. How's the weather in London? I can't lie. <laughs> at the moment it's raining. Is the family with you? Yes, the kids are eating pizza right now. Are they having fun? Yes, they are. And is your husband with you? No, he's not. He isn't. He's checking in at the hotel. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, uh, let's see. Where is Anna? Where is Anna, according to the conversation? In Italy. Okay, in Italy. In Italy. And how, how's the weather in Italy? Mm -hmm. It's hot and sunny. It's hot and sunny. It's hot and sunny. Would you like to visit Italy? Yes, I like. Yes, right, yeah. Yes. So is she with her family? Yes. Okay. Yes. And what are her children eating? They eating pizza. They are, they are eating pizza. pizza. Very good. And where is her husband? He's checking He's in at hotel. Yes. All right. Yes, perfect, guys. Now we are going to cover the present continuous. When do we use the present continuous? Mm -hmm. When do we use the present continuous? Do you remember? When the action is in the when moment. When you are doing some actions, right? When the action is at the moment of speaking. And we also have affirmative forms, negative and questions, right? So, um, Rafael, help us reading affirmative, Susana, negatives, and Hosman, questions. Okay, go. Okay, affirmative forms. I am walking, you are walking, he, she, or it is walking, we are walking, you are walking, they are walking. Yes, thank you. Negative forms. I'm not walking, you aren't walking. He, she, it isn't walking. We aren't walking. You aren't walking. They aren't walking. Perfect. Questions with the proper intonation, Osman. Am I working? Mm -hmm. Are you working? Is he, she, it working? Mm -hmm. Are we working? Mm -hmm. Are you working? Mm -hmm. Are they working? Okay, repeat after me and say walking. Walking. Walk, walking. Walking. Yes. Now say, am I walking? Am I walking? Am I? Walking. Am I walking? Say it. Am I walking? Mm -hmm. All right. Am I walking? Uh, Karen, can you please read the short answers? Okay. Short answer. Yes, I yeah. am. Yes, you are. Yes. No, I am not. No, you are. No, he isn't. 
Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys. So you know that the present continuous is used to talk about actions at the moment of speaking, right? So let's create some sentences. What is she doing? She is reading. She is reading. And what is she reading? A red book. Okay, she's reading a red book. Number two, All right? What is he doing? He's, He's playing, playing soccer. 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 And where is he playing? In a park. In a park. Okay, perfect. All right, what is she doing? Number three. She's drinking. She's drinking. Mm. A cocktail. <laughs> oh, yes. A beer. Okay, a beer. Okay, perfect. Okay, and where is she drinking a beer? In a restaurant. Okay, in a restaurant. In the perfect. Bar. The All right. Bar. In the park. Okay. All right. So what in about the bar. <laughs> in the bar? Okay. Yes. Number four. What is she She's doing? Eating sushi. She. Uh, is eating sushi in the Chinese restaurant. Okay. All right. Or, or, or Japanese. Yeah, or Japanese. Japanese. Yeah. Japanese. <laughs> okay. All right. So, number five. What are they doing? They are watching. They are watching to be in, okay. in their home. Excellent. Excellent. And what are they doing? Number six. They are dancing. They are dancing. They are dancing. And where? In a party. Dancing. In a party? Okay. Yes. In a graduation, probably as well, right? <laughs> in a TV show program. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> right. All right. So let's move, guys. Now. We also use the present continuous for future plans. Yeah, as you mentioned before, we use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening at the moment of speaking, but we also use present continuous for future plans to talk about the future. Yeah, and how do we use the um, present continuous to talk about the future? Uh, Anna, can you please help us reading everything? Present continuous for future plans. We use the present continuous tense to talk about things we plan to do in the future. We usually include a time words and expression to show when we plan to do things. Mm -hmm. Example, positive statements. We're going shopping this afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, I am meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow. Yes. They are playing football on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Example neg negative statement. I'm not working tomorrow. It's my day off. I'm not cooking tonight. I'm eating out. Perfect. Okay, guys. So we use the present continuous for future plans. And as it says right here, okay, we use present continuous, okay, whenever we plan to do something in the future. But what we need to do is that we need to use time words. That means expressions to show when we plan to do the things. We need to be very specific with the present continuous. Why? Because it is better for us to use present continuous it sounds natural. It sounds better. So we have, we're going shopping this afternoon. Instead of saying, instead of saying, we are going to go shopping this afternoon. You avoid or you make short the sentence. You see? Because of course, you can use future going too. But it is better for you to use present continuous whenever you have planned to do something. When you have planned to do something, it's better to use the present continuous when you have the specific time. Yeah. So, for example, 
I am meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow. This is plan already. Mm -hmm. I am meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow. Instead of saying, I am going to meet a friend for lunch tomorrow. That one is kind of long. So you need to make it short using the present continuous. And at the end is the same idea and it is future. Yeah. So we also have, they are playing football on Saturday. Future, you are giving the specific a day, in this case, that is Saturday. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying they are going to go playing football on Saturday or they are going to play football on Saturday. You, you see, I mean, you make it short. That's the purpose. The purpose of the present continuous, okay, is for you to use it to talk about future plans and make short your ideas. That is the purpose and to sound more natural. Hmm? And we also have negative statements, of course, right? For example, I'm not working tomorrow. It's my day off. Instead of saying, I'm not going to go to work tomorrow. It's my day off. Mm -hmm. Or I'm not cooking tonight. I'm eating out. You see, you give expressions. Tomorrow, tonight, Saturday, after, this afternoon, this morning, next month. Could be whatever time expression that you want in the future. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions about this? Doubts? No? La traducción de las oraciones, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Okay, so, all right. So, we're going shopping this afternoon. It's like saying, estamos yendo a comprar esta tarde. Sin embargo, lo interpretamos, ¿ok? Y decimos, iremos a comprar esta tarde. I am meeting a friend for lunch tomorrow. Me reuniré con un amigo eh, para almorzar mañana. Uh -huh. So, we avoid el, eh, lo, que, lo que omitimos en lugar de utilizar el going to es el voy a, porque el going to es voy a. Uh -huh. I think that you remember about going to. I think that uh, you already covered that topic, right? So, lo que omitimos es lo siguiente. I am going to meet a friend for lunch tomorrow. At the end, esta idea y la otra es la misma. Es la misma idea. Lo que sucede es que la cortamos. We make it short, right? Este present continuous y este es going to. Los dos son futuro. Pero ese dice, eh, me reuniré. Me reuniré con un amigo, ok, eh, para almorzar mañana. Y aquí decimos, voy a ir a reunirme con un amigo para almorzar mañana. You see? So the present continuous makes short your idea in future is lo mismo. Yes. So sometimes it's better to use present continuous. Okay, es mejor utilizar el presente continuous porque es más corto. Yeah. So that's the uh, the main uh, usage for future plans. Future. We also have example questions. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Can you please help us reading um, this, Andrea? Okay. Examples. Questions. What are you doing at the weekend? Mm -hmm. Are you coming to my party tomorrow? Okay, perfect. Now, this is a real question. Thank you, Andrea. 
This is a real question uh, for Carlos Eduardo. What are you doing at the weekend? If you if you don't have any plan, invent, Carlos. Mm, okay. Uh, I I am going to watch a, a movie. Okay. On okay. Saturday. Yeah. On Saturday in the afternoon. Okay. Now, Carlos Eduardo, use the present continuous. Mm, okay. Uh, and I am watching the movie. On Saturday in the right. afternoon. Uh -huh. What else? Another one. Mm, let me see. Ah, I am buying a clothing shopping center. Okay. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Carlos Arias, what about you? What are you doing at the weekend? I am working all weekend. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Eulise, what are you doing at the weekend? Okay. Um, I am a meeting family for lunch. I am meeting my family for lunch. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Yes. Uh, Carlos Dominguez, well, oyente, okay. Uh, Blanca Jennifer, what are you doing at the weekend? I am working in the weekend. I am working at the weekend. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. You see, it is easy. It's not difficult. Okay. What you need to do is you need to forget kind of um, a little bit of this one, the going to. Okay. You need to forget a little bit the going to. And you need to start using the present continuous for future plans. Okay. Yeah. But you need to give the time expression. Don't forget about that. You need to give the time expression. Yeah. Teacher. Eh, una pregunta. Eh, lo hacía en español. Eh, en el caso del, del will, se, o sea, lo podemos utilizar también, pero no hay ningún problema. Solo que el present continuo es una respuesta corta. Pero sí se puede contestar también, como ejemplo, con el will. Yes, that yeah. is correct. Yes, and okay. today we are going to talk about that as well. Okay, thank you. Yes, Hosman. Perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. But yes. Uh, we can also use will, but you will see the difference, okay? Yes. All right. So let's see. Let's create some sentences. Number one, using present continuous. No going to, no will. Present continuous, okay? Number one. James. James is James. going to school on foot. Perfect. Number two. I'm working. I'm working in a mine. Yes, perfect. Number three. You are rowing? Yes, perfect. Number four. She is looking She's for the treasure. For the treasure. Treasure. Yes, treasure. number five. We are playing hide we and seek. We are playing hide and seek. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. A rowing is or row in this case is remar. Okay. Remar. A number six. A drowning a tractor. Perfect. Number seven. Purify. Flying. The butterfly is flying. Yes, number eight. He is walking, walking on the moon. Number nine. You are cleaning the kitchen. You are cleaning the kitchen. Number ten. She is cooking. She is cooking. Okay, perfect. All right. Now let's move to the book. All right, Felix, please, Edwin, and Julia, please be, uh, Glenda, are you there?
Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. Thank you. So please be uh, Julia. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, sounds, sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training mm -hmm. or kitchen separately. Producer this weekend, but I can take it home from home. Okay. Uh, but first, uh, Glenda, first uh, Edwin, okay? Because Edwin is Felix, then you, okay? Okay. Yes. Go, Edwin. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking a e-learning training at Kitchen Safely. Produce it this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for an e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends and the conference tonight. See you later. See you later. Okay, perfect. Okay. Ooh, sorry. Okay, let's see. Um, as you can see, guys, we have present continuous and will. Okay, we are using both. We will see the difference in a minute. Okay, so now let's look at the conversation and let's complete the sentences. Number one. Mm -hmm. I, have I am having a training. I'm having a training. Perfect. I am next having week. a training next week. Number two. Okay. I am, I am taking a um, e learning training on kitchen safety produ Procedure. producers. Procedures. What is the meaning of Proced procedures? Procedimientos. Number three, guys. I. I will ask. I will ask, I will ask for a delivery option next time. Mm -hmm. Oh, next time. Sorry. Number four. I. Meeting. I'm meeting. Sometimes. Okay. Meeting some friends at a conference. Friends. Correct. Guys, do you think online courses are a good alternative option? For you? Yes, it is. Yes. Right. Yeah, they are, right? So, okay. Now, what would you do in this case, Anna? Okay. What would you do, Anna, if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? What about if there is a lot of work? What would you do? What would be the solution? If you cannot give time away to your employees to receive the training because of work, right? Maybe uh, online course. Okay. Uh, some course is uh, disponible. I don't remember what do you available. Available uh, to twenty four. Hours maybe can mm -hmm. uh, I just the time okay. so they can take it probably at night, right? Yes, okay, all right, perfect. Yes, I agree. All right, so then a uh, vocabulary. Yes, I need four volunteers, four, okay, because each of you is going to read one of those four volunteers. Okay, Anna, you are at number one. So this one, okay. Uh -huh, number two, Rafael. Number two, Rafael. Number three, Carlos Arias. And number four, please. Um, the thank you, Raul. Okay, number one, Anna. It involves one employee, employee following another employee like a shadow to let all the aspect of a job. This is especially suitable for new employees as part of their induction. 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 Perfect. Two. Rafael. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, cheaper generic courses. The staff will join employees from other other business on the course on the course. Some of these courses are designed to achieve or come towards a particular recognized qualification. All right. Good. Three. It involves the informal uh, trans transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time with some face-to-face -face meeting, use of email and telephone communication. It is essential to have a mentor. A mentor, yes. And the last one. Uh, it allows people to learn at their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. Mm -hmm. The trainer, the trainer must be technical, able to do the task, and have the. Uh, I forgot how how pronounce that that the word always patient. No, patient. Teach or coach. Yes. Okay. Patience. Patient. Patience. Okay. Patient. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see, guys. Number one. What do you think is one, two, three, or four from the um the words and phrases that we have right here? Number three. No, shadowing. Okay. Shadowing. Yes. Number two is of the shelf training course. Correct. No. Yes. What's the meaning of that? This one means online courses. Mm, okay. Yes. This Thank means you. online courses. Okay. Number three. In-house training. In-house training. Are you sure? Mentoring. Uh, mentoring. To have, it's essential yes. to have mentors. Mentoring. Mentors. And what is yes. the meaning of mentoring? It's like uh, um, it's someone to help you. The teacher or? Yes. Uh, to help you. To help you. Yes. It's like a supervisor, no? No. Uh, no. The mentoring, guys, is like saying tutorias. Mm. Mentoring. Mm -hmm. A mentor is un tutor. And mentoring, tutorias. Okay. And the last one? In-house training. House training. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is correct. Okay. All right. So let's move. And now, yes, let's answer the question that Hosman had, right? So as you can see, we have will, and we also have the present continuous or present progressive. It's the same thing, okay? So present progressive and present continuous, they both are the same, the same thing, yeah? Uh, Susana, help us reading will, and Carlos Eduardo, present progressive. Okay, will. It is used to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking, spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. Mm -hmm. I will help with the documents. They will ask about e learning options. We will be on time. Uh, present progressive. It is used to when plans. Our arrangement have been made. The manager is flying to Los Angeles to the conference. The servers are having a training this weekend. He's meeting the bus at the airport tomorrow at 6 p.m. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. So it says that we use will to talk about things that we just decided at the time of speaking, spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. So will, guys, is for you to uh, just use it 
um, for things that you just decided at the moment of speaking. And present progressive or present continuous, it is used when plans and arrangements have been made. So the present progressive is almost the same as future going to. We use present progressive instead of future going to. Yeah. So the difference is that will is for spontaneous offers, promises, and decisions. Because with will, actually, we haven't planned. No hemos planeado nada. Con will, usted dice will porque es lo que se le vino a la mente en el momento de, de hablar del futuro. Pero usted no tiene planes. Cuando usted tiene planes ya agendados, ya establecidos, vamos a utilizar present progressive or future going to. Pero en este caso estamos viendo present progressive. Ok. Entonces, eh, whenever you have plans, right? Whenever you have made plans, arrangements, cuando ya tenga establecido su plan, for example, right now, I don't know if you have plans for uh, this coming vacation. Creo que más de algún día tendrá algún plan para estas vacaciones that we are going to have on April, right? April the second, I think that they start well. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I think that you already have plans, probably. I don't know, okay? Or maybe you have plans for this coming weekend. So si ya tiene planes, va a utilizar el present progressive. If you don't have plans, and if I ask you, what are you doing at the weekend? and you don't have any plan, well, maybe I will go to the park with my family, but I don't have any plan. No tengo nada planeado. Es, eso lo decido al momento que usted me está preguntando, porque no. Okay. You are not sure, but what about if I have plans already? Right? So I can say, um, yes, I'm going to the beach on Sunday. A plan. You see, that is the difference. Very simple. Teacher, I have a question. When you use uh, going to, is necessary uh, say the time yesterday? Uh, no. Uh, tomorrow at night is necessary. Same. Sometimes it's not necessary, but most of the time, yes. Okay. Okay. But sometimes, no, because for example, if you ask me, teacher, uh, what are you doing this coming weekend, right? Um, I'm going to the beach. And it is not necessary, right? Mm -hmm. But if I want to maybe be really specific, well, I'm going to the beach in the afternoon, but in the morning, I'm eating with my family. Right, so you need to use time expressions. Okay. Right. Perfect. All right, guys. So let's complete these sentences. Okay, so we have letter A. Would you like something to drink? Yes, please. I will have orange juice. Number two, I can't come with you on Sunday. I? I have it. Um, I am having a training at the restaurant. Perfect. Okay. It's a plan, right? It is established that he is going to have that. Three, you look tired. I will help, I will you help. the document. Correct. I will help you finish the documents. Perfect. Number four, the kitchen manager is flying to Italy on Friday. Right. Mm -hmm. Here are the tickets. Number five, the owner. Will come. In. Um, will come. Will come. Will will come. Oh. Perfect. Number six. I can see. No, you cannot no. see. You cannot see. No. Nobody working. Work he is not week. working. Yeah, like this, okay. So he is he not, isn't uh, he isn't working next week, okay? The contraction or the long way is okay. Perfect. All right, guys. You see, 
do you have any question about will and present progressive? Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Perfect. All right, so now let's move and we are going to take the grammar test, the grammar, okay? Not the listening, the grammar, okay? The grammar, the one that says general knowledge exam, that one. And this one is about the present, the future, well, a mix of everything. Um, there you go. And the passcode is English in capital letters. Once we are done, we are going to start with the speaking time. Okay. Once we are done, we are going to start with that speaking time. So open the class because we are going to move to a speaking. Okay. But right now, the grammar. And let me know once you are done so I can move you to a different breakout room.
Yes. Eh, Blanca. Teacher, no vimos lo que íbamos a hablar. Ah, ok. So, this so, part. Doctor. Yes, vayamos a ver. Um, okay, so you are going to practice this. Mm -hmm. This one. Then this one. Then this one. And then this one. You can also find this, um, this information, guys. También la pueden encontrar, recuerde, en la hoja de trabajo, ¿sí? Eh, y ahí va a ver la clase que dice class 23, clase 23. Si usted abre la clase 23, ahí va a encontrar la clase de ahora y va a ver estas preguntas, ¿ok? Thank you, teacher. All right, guys. I have a question. Yes. Uh, I cannot see the video, the first day plus. Ah, yes, I haven't added it. But I will add mm. it, okay? But I, I will add it. Okay. Yeah, okay. let me do it right now. Yeah, okay, let me, let me add it. Mm. Let's see. Why did I... Friday was, which date? Friday was 24. Okay, let me let's see. 24, oh yes. And Okay, I use added, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, perfect. All right, guys, so let's start practicing, okay? I want you to speak, yeah? Try to speak. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, the... For healthcare, it's necessary the education first. Because mm -hmm. the education preparing the, the helper, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, if you well, had education, you had a more healthy life. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a excellent tools in the country, but they don't have resources. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. That's a rude question. <laughs> okay, some people like part, part, participating in... My opinion is the building, the government building is our... Um, education because that um, uh, desarrollo develop development, the development, development. Uh, the, uh, because that development in the future and the more in the more este personal professional person in the other area the social okay 
the next question is okay some people like participating in performance like three three theatrical or musical shows others prefer to be in an audience watching those plays which one do you prefer and why i prefer uh, participate uh, in performance uh, because it's more interesting for me Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Are you practicing? No, for the moment. No? All right. No. So let's see, guys. Let's see. Um, okay. Let me ask you. If the government, okay, if the government wants to invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worth while? What is the meaning of the most worth while? Mm. Worth while means que merece la pena, la que más merece la pena, guys. Uh -huh. For me, two options, education and healthcare. Which one? The education and healthcare. Okay, why? Education for preparing the kids or children for the future and health for the, for the old people. And uh, for good attention in the hospital and clinic, clinic, career or clinic, or unidad de salud, the clinic. Yeah, okay, uh, the clinic. Okay, all right. What do you think, Rose? For me, the things the most the most worldwide is the education mm -hmm. because in the education is the is the first in the, the first in the future for for the people mm -hmm. and what is the I forget it. I couldn't hear you. No le escuché, Rose. Wait. For me, the the most worldwide is the is the education because is the first is the 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 first when the the people is people are is yes polite and the is uh, how do you say mejorar improve improve the 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 other the other worldwide worldwide the other areas probably uh, Sorry, the other areas. Areas. Yeah. Okay, perfect. What about you, Karen? For me, is the education. Uh, because uh, to prepare the children. Uh, Mama. And uh, the children Mama. Uh, in the future, they are excellent professionals. <laughs> Okay, all right. So um, I agree. 
All right. I think that um, education, right? That is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. What we are going to do is that I'm going to move you to a different breakout room. Okay. Los voy a mover a un salón diferente para que practique con alguien más. Y voy a ir hablándole a uno por uno porque le voy a ir haciendo preguntas en inglés y le voy a dar un feedback. Ok, pero para eh, ahorita vamos a practicar en grupo. Lo voy a mover a otro salón, ok, y después voy a llamar a uno por uno para evaluarlo. Ok, so right now eh, lo voy a mover de salón a, lo, a las, a, bueno, a los tres, ok, Carlos, Rose, and Karen. Va a practicar con alguien más. Ok, eh, déjeme ver. Aquí. Yes. Eh, let me move you right now. Carlos, room one, Karen, room two, Rose, room one, room five, Hello, Salvador. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? And you? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. You know, Salvador, right now I'm going to ask you a couple of questions just for me to evaluate your speaking and I will give you some observations, okay? Yes. It's okay, all right. So now, Salvador, if the government wants to invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worthwhile? I I like to invest health care. Why? I I can to help other people mm -hmm. that is sick, están enfermos. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Mm -hmm. Solamente una o dos. Eh, dos, two. Mm. Education. Why? I I can to teach. You can to teach, okay. Mm -hmm. um, no, no sé cómo expresar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pero trate, use sinónimos. Vaya. I can to teach to all people and to make easy. Okay. All right. Aprendizaje, ¿cómo se dice? Okay. Learning. Learning. Yes. Yeah. Learning. Ok, Salvador, eh, I will give you the feedback. Le voy a dar como un pequeño, una retroalimentación para que usted vaya observando las áreas de oportunidad que tiene en el speaking, ok. Uh -huh. Mire, 
Eh, en este caso, Salvador, cuando utilicemos verbos modales, nunca, nunca, José Salvador, vamos a decir I can to help. Es decir, nunca vamos a poner un tú después ah. de quién. Sí, nunca. Uh -huh. right? Entonces podemos decir I can help other people. Okay? Cuando uh -huh. utilicemos el nombre people, people that are, porque es plural. Okay? Sería uh -huh. are. Okay? Uh -huh. No is. Nunca. Okay? Lo mismo con eso, mira. Uh -huh. Okay, sería I can teach. Yes. Eh, bueno, en este caso, Salvador, el feedback que yo le voy a dar es que básicamente sí necesitamos eh, aprender más vocabulario. Ok. Porque es bien importante, ya que si usted se fija, al menos eh, en la clase, en la clase que hemos tenido en todas, es de hablar. Entonces, para uh -huh. que usted vaya adquiriendo más vocabulario, debe de tratar. You need to use synonyms. Tienen que utilizar sinónimos. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Y algo bien, eh, bien importante es que siempre que usted tenga una clase de inglés, siempre tenga su traductor, el que yo le mandé al, al grupo, porque les mandé uno al grupo de WhatsApp, Téngalo abierto y ponga su idea ahí. Mm, ¿Ok? Bueno, para, que idea. Pueda, ajá, para que pueda adquirir más vocabulario. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. vale. Ok. Solo lo quería evaluar para ver más o menos cómo estamos con su speaking. En este caso, pues tenemos que mejorar en el vocabulario y las observaciones. Ya no decir, I can to help, I can to teach. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. ¿Yes? Mm -hmm. vale. Correcto. Ok, very good. So, I'm going to move you to a different uh, room. Lo voy a mover a otro salón y voy a hablarle a alguien más para practicar con esta persona, ¿ok? Thanks for All right. your time. Thank you, thank you, ok. Okay, hello, Carlos. Hello. Hi. Hi, Carlos. Okay, so right now I'm going to ask you one question because I would like to evaluate your speaking, okay? Okay. All right. Carlos, among the following jobs, which do you... Think okay, which do you think is the most interesting and why? Mm. An airplane, the, uh huh. The job I, the most interesting for me is a uh, airplane pilot, pilot, so, pilot, okay, and uh, visit the other countries. Um, okay. um Yeah. What else? Um, other cultures. cultures. Okay, so because you can visit other countries and other culture. Okay, yes. all right. And okay, all right. Next question, all right. So in this case, if, if the government, Carlos, wants to invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worthwhile? The government invest uh, in education. Education? Why? For the, for the preparing and the kids or, or children for the future. Um, the, and the better countries. In the better? Countries. Um, In the future, uh, create a better country Correct. for the new generation. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. I agree on that one. Okay. Um, excellent. Okay. And the last question I'm going to ask you, which of the following creative activities do you like to get involved in? Quality making? 
writing or art creation? For me, uh, I prefer reading. Oh, repeat after me and say writing. Writing. Yes, writing. Mm -hmm. Why? Um, it's interesting. Okay. For the, um, save the histories and all memories. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a new uh, adventure, adventure in the adventure. Future. Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, Carlos. All right, that was pretty much okay. So I can say that um right now what we need to work on is fluency, okay? But you are on the right track. Okay, lo hizo muy bien. Nada más tenemos que mejorar en adquirir un poquito más de vocabulario, tal vez, y también en fluidez, pero estamos bien. Okay, so okay, continue okay. like that. All right, very Thank good. You. Okay, I'm going to move you to another room and I'm going to bring somebody else, okay? Okay, perfect. Um... Hello, Carlos Eduardo. Hello. Hi. Okay, Carlos. Um, I just called you because I would like to practice with you and I would like to give you feedback about your speaking. Okay. So, okay. yes, I would like to ask you this question. All right. Which of the following creative activities do you like to get involved in? Quality making, writing, or art creation? And please support your opinion. Um, I prefer, uh, I would like to get involved in pottery making. Why? Because uh, the first, uh, the art creation, um, I cannot draw it. Oh. Uh, okay. Yes. Um, in my school, I remember I only uh, draw a little bit. Uh, okay. Kids. Yes. And... Writing, um, I maybe I cannot, uh, um, I cannot uh, make uh, the other person feel that I can write it. Okay. And maybe it's important making because uh, I can learn and after I can sell the, the product that I can. The art. The art that you make. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay. I agree on that one. Okay. So what about this one? If the government wants to invest in the following three areas, what do you think is the most worthwhile for you? Uh, well, if uh, we would invest in maybe in land, land exploration, Okay. Yes, because the people always uh, looking for the the house or the department, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. government can invest uh, rent or sell the the department or, or the house. Okay. All right. Perfect. All right. And all right. So in this case, I just have one one observation, Carlos. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you said I cannot draw in, in this case. It should be, I cannot draw. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That is the only um, observation that I have. All right. That is the only okay. observation. But very good. Okay. So I think that you are on the right track. Mm, you are good in fluency right now for the level that we are in intermediate. You are in a good level. All right. So you try to get more vocabulary probably, but you are on the correct track. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank All right. Thank you. Let me call somebody else. Okay, I'm going to move you okay. to a different room. Yeah, I'm going to move you with um, Team Fire. Let me bring Anna.
Hello, Ana. Hello. Okay, Ana, I just want to practice with you because I would like to give you feedback about your speaking, okay? I'm going okay. to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Ana, can you please tell me what did you do yesterday? Uh, uh, I was working all day. All right, and what did you do at work? What were some activities that you did? Uh, I... I review review mm -hmm. the um uh, do document mm -hmm. to the register products mm -hmm. products. Okay. All and right. And maybe send uh, any emails to the client to my uh, employee. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Um I take I took my breakfast mm -hmm. at 1 p.m. Okay. Um I discuss uh, some topic with my boss, my boss. Okay. Um I Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I give some document to the how do you say mensajero? Mm, you can say to the it, it should be cartero, right? Uh -huh. Okay. You can say um let me just the mailman the mailman okay i i give no i gave a document to a email man to the mailman <laughs> to the mailman for a for a the answer no for he got to the answer the tramites or the, the register mm -hmm. on the dmm dirección nacional de medicamentos okay okay mm -hmm. i don't remember that much. okay Any... all right so now anna can you please describe yourself yeah describe yourself uh, your personality. I would like to know about your personality, your character. Describe yeah. yourself. Okay. I um I don't remember <laughs> the 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 word for my character is hard uh, temper. Okay. Uh, maybe I don't have passions. Patience, patience, but I am responsible, and I really like uh, to be uh, busy all my time. Maybe okay. I really like uh, make some tasks in the day. Uh, all time I don't have free time mm -hmm. I try to work all the time and um, I maybe I really love my family mm -hmm. um, I try to uh, help them all the time mm -hmm. I try to call them every day mm -hmm. um, I am an empathetic person with others. Mm -hmm. I try to put them in su lugar. I try to put myself on their shoes. Okay, put myself on their shoes. Mm -hmm. And I try to help only people um, if it's necessary. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, thank you. All right. 
Ana, and the last question I have for you, okay? Okay. Can you tell me um, what are you going to do this coming weekend? This coming weekend? I'm going to drive uh, to San Miguel okay. in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to... No, I will need a give a, a bill mm -hmm. to my uh, I don't remember how do you say uh, como mi jefe pero no como una empresa como entregar unos documentos a una empresa how do you say I need to deliver a document to a company. Uh huh. To a company for my pay. Oh my God. Okay. Anna. <laughs> so that is so, but so, so, so important. Yes. Uh, last week I tried to uh, make it, but I have a choque. I had a crash. I had a crash in my car last Saturday. Okay. You crashed. For this reason, I need to, no, I will need to go other time. Oh my God, Anna. Okay. So, okay. Sorry about that, but okay. So, Anna, pronunciation. Okay. Register. 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 Eh, sent. Pasado de send, sent. Sent. Yes. Eh, pasado de give. Gave. Gave. Eh, discuss. 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 Yes. ¿Cómo se dice cartero? Mensajero. Email man. Mail man. Mail. How do you say enojado, enojada? Hot tempered. Tempered. Uh -huh. Ok, Ana. We need to improve on simple past. Okay. Simple past, okay? Simple past and the pronunciation of some words. Yeah? But right now, I would say the simple past is the maybe the area of improvement and pronunciation. Teacher, I have a question about I always confuse when I can use do or did and was or am um, is uh, er. I I have a confuse about this when I use do or does and when I use the verb be. Okay, so uh, you use do or does when you are talking about the simple present, the simple present tense. I mean, whenever you describe routines, when you are describing habits, hobbies, routines. For example, I um, but that is in negative. I mean. Do or does is only in questions. Mm -hmm. For example, do you play soccer? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, I don't eat fish. Negative. Yeah, but that is for, for routines. Mm -hmm. For routines, for things that you do often. And in this case, you said, um, was and where? Uh -huh. le, le voy a decir en español, tal vez no me di a entender. Lo que pasa es que yo siempre me confundo, por ejemplo, cuando tengo que colocar el do, eh, como hacer la diferencia entre el ser, estar, el haber y el... como esos, o sea, porque, por ejemplo, no sé cuándo decir he is o he do. No sé si me doy a entender. Ok, so, bye. Para cuando decimos... Por ejemplo, es que recordemos que cada tiempo verbal tiene su uso. Entonces, uh -huh. en este caso, cuando utilizamos el dual das, es para rutinas, es para eh, cosas que hacemos todos los días. Pero, pero recordemos que el dual das se utilizan en las preguntas, no en las oraciones. Uh -huh. El das o el do se puede utilizar como verbo que significa hacer, uh -huh. pero no como eh, un auxiliar. Un auxiliar. Uh -huh. No, ah, correcto. En las positivas, no. 
Entonces, si yo quiero decir, él está feliz, he is happy, porque uh -huh. el is, el am y el are, es ser. Es de estar ah. o estar. Uh -huh. Correcto. Entonces, si yo quiero decir, yo como todos los días, es presente simple, pero no le puedo poner el do ni el das. Entonces, sería, uh -huh. I eat every day. El y así es pregunta, si sería, do you eat, vea. Correcto. Si es pregunta, si sí, utiliza el do o el das, dependiendo de su sujeto. Ok. Uh -huh. Perfecto. Yes. Ajá, y de ahí, ajá, y de ahí lo demás, solo es el pasado, que did y es was in work. Correcto. Okay. Perfecto. Perfecto. ¿Tiene alguna otra duda? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Mm -mm. Ok, very good. So I will move you to a uh, breakout room and I will bring uh, somebody else, ok? Well, I think that no, I think that we are going to go back to the main room because it's already 9.50, almost. Ok. okay. Yes, ok, let's go back to the main room, ok? Ok, thanks. Thank you. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones. And yes. Okay, guys. So I just practiced with some of you. Okay, I just practiced with some of you. I was calling one by one. I didn't call all of you because you are a lot. So uh, we are not going to have enough time, right? So I'm going to do it tomorrow with some of you. I was practicing and giving you feedback about your speaking. But right now we are going to continue, okay? With the listening practice, okay? Let's continue with the listening quiz, the listening, okay? The listening quiz. So let's go to the spreadsheet and let's open the listening. Yeah, the listening, the listening. Let me see. Here we go. This is the listening and the passcode is listening. Listen. Okay, I, I think that we have all of you here. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, so we are going to take the listening. We are going to take the listening. We are going to take the listening. Okay. So open the link. Open the link. I mean. Thank you. Okay. Open the link, guys. I am in. Thank you. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So let me see. I'm going to take the attendance right now. Muy bien, ya revisé todos los videos de Washington Park. Como ven aquí en la sección norte del parque, está Soy Sims. Diferentes cámaras de acá. Okay, Washington. All right, so Ana Lorena. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Alberto. He was practicing with me. Okay. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Glenda Toledo Leiva. Present. Thank you. Eh, José Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Houseman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisette Sánchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Catherine Indira Velázquez. Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you, Rafael Alexander. Present, teacher. Thank you, Raúl Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Susana Milena. Present. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Well and Jancy Azucena. Okay, perfect. Let's move and let's, uh, yeah, now let's take the listening practice. Okay, so I'm going to play this recording twice. Okay, if you need an extra time, let me know. Here we go. Thank you. 
Okay, okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name's Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. To begin with, uh, please look at the syllabus in front of you. You should all have one by now, I think. Um, this class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.50. We will be meeting in this room for the first half of the course, but we will be using the research lab every other week on Thursday in room 405 during the last two months of the class. Uh, this is the text for the class, Beyond Language. Unfortunately, the books haven't come in yet, but I was told that you should be able to buy them at the bookstore the day after tomorrow. Again, as you see on your course outline, grading is determined by your work on a midterm and final test, periodic quizzes, a research project, and classroom participation. My office hours are from 1 to 2 on Wednesdays, and you can set up an appointment to meet with me at other times as well. Okay, let me explain a little bit more about the class and its objectives. The second time. Here we go. Okay, okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name's Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. To begin with, uh, please look at the syllabus in front of you. You should all have one by now, I think. Um, this class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.50. We will be meeting in this room for the first half of the course, but we will be using the research lab every other week on Thursday in room 405 during the last two months of the class. Uh, this is the text for the class, Beyond Language. Unfortunately, the books haven't come in yet, but I was told that you should be able to buy them at the bookstore the day after tomorrow. Again, as you see on your course outline, grading is determined by your work on a midterm and final test, periodic quizzes, a research project, and classroom participation. My office hours are from 1 to 2 on Wednesdays, and you can set up an appointment to meet with me at other times as well. Okay, let me explain a little bit more about the class and its objectives. Okay, do you, do you need me to play it an extra time? Yes, okay. Yes, please. All right, here we go, guys. Okay. Okay, okay, let's begin. Hello, everyone. My name's Carl Roberts, and I'll be your teacher for this class, Intercultural Communication 311. To begin with, uh, please look at the syllabus in front of you. You should all have one by now, I think. Um, this class meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3.15 to 4.50. We will be meeting in this room for the first half of the course, but we will be using the research lab every other week on Thursday in room 405 during the last two months of the class. Uh, this is the text for the class, Beyond Language. Unfortunately, the books haven't come in yet, but I was told that you should be able to buy them at the bookstore the day after tomorrow. Again, as you see on your course outline, grading is determined by your work on a midterm and final test, periodic quizzes, a research project, and classroom participation. My office hours are from 1 to 2 on Wednesdays, and you can set up an appointment to meet with me at other times as well. Okay, let me explain a little bit more about the class and its objectives. Okay. All right. Let's see. Submit your answers. Okay. Let me see. Was it difficult? Let me see. A little. A little bit. Okay. Very good. I can see that some of you got 100. Some of you got 80. Okay. Um, all right. So let me see. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. Um, do you have any question? 
If not, I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. No? No questions about that? No. Okay, so what is the meaning of every other week? What is the meaning of that expression? Every other week. Mm -hmm. Como cada semana que ya pasó, ¿no? Mm. Una semana vinita, ¿no? Okay. Um, one no. week uh, yes and other no uh, yes okay so every other week is eh, una semana sí una semana no mm -hmm. every other week yeah una semana sí una semana no mm -hmm. now um, so um, si Every other week es una semana sí y otra no. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice un día sí, otro no? Every other day. Mm -hmm. Every other day. Every other day. That is correct. All right. So, very good, guys. Guys, let me ask you. How do you say olvidadizo in English? Absent-minded. Absent-minded. Hmm. Okay, absent-minded. Okay, absent-minded. How do you say, guys? Let me see. How do you say? Let me see. A difficult one. No. Said, no, don't do it. No, okay, so what is it? Okay, what is a synonym for angry? Upset. Okay. But from the adjectives that we covered last Grouchy. Week. Okay. Mm, grouchy. Okay. Yeah. Groovy. Groovy. Okay. But when somebody is really, really, really angry, cuando alguien es muy enojado, ¿cómo se le dice a esa persona que tiene o okay. qué es? Frabby. 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 Okay. But from the adjectives that we studied last week, that we cover forgetful, absent-minded, level-headed. Hot-tempered. Hot-tempered. Okay, hot-tempered. Mm -hmm. The vocabulary that we covered. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but I will see you back tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for being responsible and connecting. I hope you have a great night. Take care. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.